top of the table, motherfuckers. I don't give a f what anyone says. We are top of the table. And by the way, this is a cigar. I don't know if you ask what the f is this. This is meant to be a cigar. I don't have a cigar, but this is shaped like a cigar. Anyways, shut the f up. And you know why I am standing? Because I am standing today on business, and you need to look up to us because we are top of the table, motherfucker. Don't disrespect us, three points clear. I need to stop doing all this f***ing bullshit. Focus with me. We might have lost a battle, but we are still winning the war. Our two competitors lost. Not lost, but they drawn. But that's a loss for both of them, because that's for us a win. Yes, we lost against Osasona. Who? Exactly, I know, Osasona. We still top of the table, so it doesn't matter. They both drawn against each other. So that's a win-win situation for Barcelona. Come with me, come with me, come with me. Let's talk, let's talk while sitting down. Cana McGregor! What the f*** am I doing? Yesterday I almost got a heart attack. After that, Eder Miletao goal. Holy shit, man. Brother, out of nowhere, that motherfucker scored a goal. Look, who turned on the lights? I almost felt like, yeah, we are getting cooked. La Liga, we lost it. But that devil, that devil himself, Simeone, brother, brother, he actually did what Real Madrid always did. And that's to get players up on like Correa, that we score a draw or the winner in the last minutes. Correa, you are our savior. Will that man a statue in the camp? No. I know this is just the start of the season. A draw for Real Madrid, a draw for Atletico Madrid, a loss for Barcelona, a win for Barcelona, it doesn't make the difference. Like, let's be clear. It can make a difference, but a small difference. There is still 27, 26 games left. That's a lot of games. There is still a Clasico playing two times. There is still Atletico Madrid playing two times. There is still Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid playing again in Bernabeu. You know, there is a lot of games, but we at least we are top of the table. So let us celebrate something at this moment. Let's talk about the yesterday game. What the f is happening with Vinicius? Backing him up to win the Ballon d'Or. But brother, the performances lately of him are not showing that this motherfucker gonna win the Ballon d'Or. This is not a Ballon d'Or winner. With all due respect to Vinicius, he might turn up at the later stage of the season. But brother, he needs to do something. He's not performing. That's good. Rodrigo is out performing. Mbappe didn't play. I mean, believe me when I say this. I didn't feel like Mbappe was playing or not playing. It doesn't make any difference. Real Madrid are still a boring team. They play shit, but they end up winning. They end up drawing in important games. They don't lose, which if that matters, absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't make the difference if Real Madrid played with Mbappe or not Mbappe, if they played with Hendrik or without Hendrik, if they played with Vini or without Vini, because at the end of the day, they have a boring play style. That it works. That's kept them from losing, which, okay, fair enough. The goal, the free kick where the goal came from, it was a lot of discussion about it. Was that a free kick or not? I don't think it's a free kick, but at the same time, if the ref gave it as a free kick, I agree. But Barcelona don't even f***ing get free kicks like that. If, if a player do what Vinicius did, they will book him a yellow for diving directly. It won't be even a fucking free kick. The other team will get a free kick because of that. But still, let's move on. The refs, we already moved on from the refs. I always say this. We know that the refs are fucked up in La Liga. We know the refs get on Real Madrid's side. And even if you are a Real Madrid fan, you're gonna tell me, oh my god, no, they don't get on Real Madrid's side. They get on Barcelona's side. No one agree with you. Your defense is, if I did that, you also did it. That's what your defense right now for this. You don't say, oh no, Real Madrid don't get with the refs. No, you say, you also get favorites by the ref. Yes, we got sometimes favorites by the ref, but not that much, not as much as Real Madrid. Like, come on, brother, every fucking game, if you play against Real Madrid, play like you are playing against them and against the ref. And Atletico Madrid did that. Yes, they got a red card. That's a derby. That's Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid derby. This should be red cards. It should have tension between the players. Fuck the walk football. Fuck that. Old school football. A derby is a derby. Talk shit, trash talk, fight motherfucker. Per se, grades. That's what I'm talking about. Let's talk again about the big elephant in the room. The game got delayed 10 minutes because fans were throwing things at Courtois, which is f***ed up. I hope they ban those motherfuckers. Again, same situation for Courtois. Courtois actually provoked the Atletico Madrid fans. Let's be clear. Talk sh it's okay, but to answer it with violence, I don't agree with that. You know Courtois, at least Madrid fans, those motherfuckers are dickheads. If any player did this, they will answer it the same way. But you are one of their former players, and you celebrating in front of them like that after the goal, that's f***ed up. I know they disrespected him a lot. If those motherfuckers are stupid, don't be stupid like them. Any player can have the right to celebrate in front of the other fans. It's football, suck shit, and all you fans have to do is talk shit back to him, celebrate in front of him when, for example, Korea scored that draw. That's it, but don't throw shit. You are 
and just ruining the beautiful game. So yeah, for now, we are still top of the table, three points clear. Do you want me to be real with you? If we continue like this with flick rotating in some stupid games, losing a lot of players with injuries, I don't see us winning La Liga. I, we can't compete with this kind of injuries and players getting exhausted and tired. I don't see us winning La Liga. But hopefully everything changed with a lot of players coming back from injuries. Even though I can't guarantee y'all that a lot of players that will come back from injury, they will come back the same as they were. Or they will come back and play the whole season. Now they might struggle again with injuries. So 